If that tree fell on this, it would survive. I've been very late to the world of uh, Seiko dive watches. What have I been missing? You know, this watch has got everything you need and nothing you don't. It just occurred to me, I just thought, randomly, I just thought, you know, there's a lot of Seiko divers and I know very little about them. Um, you know, I've looked at all sorts of divers, Breitlings, uh, Zodiac, Spinnaker, but why not Seiko? Well, this is holding up a lot better than me after the last 18 years. It's tough as old boots, this. So, welcome to my first foray into the world of Seiko divers. The first generation monster that was launched in the year 2000. This uh, sprightly 18 year old example holds up very well, I think, today as well. Um, these Seikos were made in simpler times. It has the basic 7S26 movement. So you just sort of shake it and wear it and it works. There's no hand winding, nothing like that. The old 7S26 was in all the Seiko 5s for a while and it's very, very long lasting and rugged. And I've been very pleased with this. I think the watch has exceptional loom. So we have a 42, 43 mil case, about 13 mil thick, four o'clock screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. This watch holds up very, very well. I've been lucky, lucky with this one. On the case back, we've got the Great Wave of Kawawa, or whatever it's called, the Japanese Seiko Great Wave. 7S26 movement inside. So there's no hand winding, no hacking, simple, straightforward. The original movement, it just uh, ticks along with the movement of your hand in everyday way. See the, uh, the, the half tuner case? It just allows enough purchase in the gaps there. I'm being ruthless with my collection now. Um, I reached a certain point where I thought if there's any more it's strictly two out one in um, and I'm sticking to that for every two that go one might come in back in 2000 these were launched as a rugged no-nonsense diver so when I was researching we have the Seiko Turtle the Seiko Samurai and a whole host of other reinterpretations of classic 60s dive watches, the 62 mass. It's, it, it's a world, the world of Seiko divers, a whole world. So now I've entered this world of uh, Seiko dive watches. <laughs> I've opened the right can of worms, let's just see where, uh, where I end up. <laughs> so in this new world, to me, of Seiko divers, can you believe it? New world of Seiko divers. Now, I'm so late to the party. Um, I thought, I'll just tread gently, I'll go in easy, I'll go in at the low end. Um, I think one of the things I like about it is you know you're not going to have to baby it. It's tough, it's solid, it feels solid. You know, not, not risk too much in this world that seems to range from uh, 90 pounds to 5,000 pounds before you get to Grand Seiko. I thought I'll just go in gently. I think I've hit lucky, I think I've got a particularly good one. There doesn't seem to be any scratches, it's possibly a new uh, strap that, but it is a Seiko strap. But this is the first generation. There was this, and there was the orange. And yes, I will be getting the orange, might as well have the set. Originally launched in 2000, although in some of the old Seiko catalogues, I have seen references from 1996 with this design, so a little bit confusing. But this model ran from 2000 to 2012, quite straightforward, 
and then it was updated with the second generation which had sort of fangs for the indices that does weigh smaller than its 43 mil case would suggest extremely rugged extremely rugged movement and if my other experiences with Seiko divers are as good as this has been I can see this uh, being quite expensive.